Hello and welcome back to my fragrance channel. So obviously I totally believe in wearing whatever makes you happy with fragrance and wearing it for yourself and not everyone else. But at the same time, my favorite compliment to get is, oh my gosh, you smell good, what are you wearing? <laughs> so I both wear fragrances that are just for me that I know are soft and maybe not to everyone's taste and I'm just going to enjoy them. And I also do sometimes wear things that project more and tend to be more compliment getters. So this is going to be my list of the top 10 fragrances that get me the most compliments when I wear them. So here we go. So first, Tiziana Terenzi's Cassiopeia. And I think that this fragrance is just incredibly likable. I think that's part of why it always gets compliments and it also has great, great performance. Um, this is like a mix of being, there's almost an element to it that I could see smelling very fresh and almost shampoo-like, but then at the same time it has some almost gourmand touches, like a creamy tonka bean. There's a beautiful passion fruit note in this fragrance that's really one of my favorite things about it because I absolutely love passion fruit and I feel like there aren't a lot of passion fruit kind of dominant fragrances. This has a gorgeous, fresh passion fruit note, some other, I think there's lemon in here, some light woodiness, but then as it dries down, that creaminess from the tonka bean, those woods really start to like warm it up. I love this one. I really think you could wear it all year round, but I tend to gravitate towards it in the summer because of those kind of tropical elements to it. But I really don't think it would have to just be worn in the summer. I actually think it could be a great signature because it has that mix of freshness and that fresh, almost muskiness as well. I think there's a lot of musk in here and then that warmth and depth in the base. So this one is gorgeous and it really does get so, so many compliments. I love to wear this in the evenings and the summer is really when I feel like this fragrance like, speaks to me. So the next one is Parfums de Marley Delina Exclusive. I feel like I've talked about this in like every video that I've done on YouTube. So my apologies, I will try to have more variety going forward, but she really is just incredible. I think this is the most gorgeous. This is fluffy, powdery rose with vanilla, a bit of oud, some incense. Um, it's warm. It's just the right mix of warmth and femininity. Just the right amount of sweet. It's hard. I don't know. It's almost hard to describe. I love this one so much. I love the rose note in here. It just does have a fluffy, powdery, sweet quality and I think it is absolutely stunning. Next is Goldfield and Banks Pacific Rock Moss and I think this one is one of the best actually performing fresh fragrances. I believe, I feel like I've heard before that the gold cap is the reformulated version and that prior to the gold cap it didn't perform very well. I don't remember, I don't I have no idea what color the cap used to be, but I feel like I have heard that from a few people. So get them the gold cap, I guess. And I feel like this gets compared a lot to Jo Malone's Woods Agency Salt. And while I love Woods Agency Salt, I don't feel like they're that similar. I think if you liked one, you might very well like the other. But to me, this has a lot more citrus. It has that gorgeous, gorgeous lemon note. It's a touch aromatic. It really smells to me like what I would imagine a luxurious, like, spa in some, like in Bali or Tahiti or I don't know, some coastal luxurious spa I feel like is what this smells like and it really does have great performance I think the moss note in here is gorgeous and as far as a fresh fragrance goes it performs super super well so I think it's very likable and does tend to get compliments I love to wear this in the summer but honestly I wear this all year round because I just think it's gorgeous and I tend to gravitate towards fresh fragrances so there's Pacific Rock Moss next is Duquesa by Guriti so this is Definitely my pick for a cherry fragrance and honestly, I love it for its saffron note as well. So this has cherry, a tart kind of cherry liqueur type of note. Then it's also got some white flowers, some saffron, almond, which I love the addition of almond in here. And what I think is great about this one is A, it just has in general great performance, which is I think why it probably gets compliments and it's a gorgeous scent, but also the cherry note lasts. I feel like with a lot of cherry fragrances, 
you have that initial burst of cherry in the opening and then as it dries down you're left with whatever's in the base and the cherry note just doesn't stick around and that is not the case for Duquesa. The cherry note really does linger throughout the whole life of the fragrance. I actually wore this last night and when I woke up this morning and was doing my hair I could smell it because it was like behind my ear as I was moving still from the night before. So awesome, awesome performance and I think it's just very it's just a gorgeous, really elegant take on a cherry fragrance. I think it's just stunning. So this one is beautiful. I love this for evenings, for date nights, especially in the you know cooler weather. It's just so good. Next, Narcotic V by Nasamato. This is a new addition to my collection, um, but it's incredible. And it has like I think the first night that I wore it, I got like at least a couple of compliments on it. And ever since I've been wearing it, I, I feel like almost every time someone mentions it, it is the most beautiful and natural and realistic white floral. I just imagine taking like a moonlit stroll through a garden filled with tuberose, jasmine, lilies. There's a touch of a green quality here. It is just stunning. I think it is just has like set the bar for me for white florals because it is such a gorgeous rendition on white floral notes. And honestly, I am kind of a tuberose hater. Like, I'm very picky when it comes to tuberose. I, I don't like when it gets bubblegummy. I don't like, there's a lot of things that tuberose can do that I do not enjoy, but I love, love this fragrance. So I highly recommend checking this out. You can sample this on Twisted Lily. I've got a discount code down below. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning. And the performance, the literal, the performance is incredible. Obviously, it's very pricey for like per ounce because this is a very small bottle, and I think it's like, I feel like it's like 180 for 30 milliliters. But don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Um, but you only need a spray or two. Like it is so. This this bottle will last me for a very long time um, because it is very very potent. Misenzer's For Your Love. Again, I feel like I talk about this one very often, but this is a really sultry, ambery, musky scent with a beautiful raspberry. And something about this fragrance produces, I, the first time I smelled it, I was totally in no to it, could not smell it at all, and I was so confused. And then for some reason, as I revisited it, I could smell it. And I have discovered that this just creates a massive scent trail, gorgeous, like, huge sillage. Um, so I definitely find that this one gets a lot of compliments because I think it just really carries around you, but not in a heavy or overwhelming way. It's in a very light, fluffy, airy way. It has a touch of that Baccarat Rouge DNA, but I'm not a Baccarat girly for some reason. It just doesn't work on my skin. Um, I get a little bit of that medicinal quality. I don't love the like really burnt sugar type of smell. Um, but I know, I know it's an, a great fragrance. I know so many people love it, but it just doesn't work on my skin. But this kind of gets me all the parts of Baccarat that I really enjoy um, paired with a fluffy kind of powdery raspberry. And again, just insane performance. It just creates this fluffy bubble around you. So this is gorgeous. Always gets compliments. I feel like usually I'll wear this on date nights with my husband. And so usually... I'll get compliments on this in restaurants, which I feel like is always impressive because there's so many other like smells going on. Zerjas Dama Bianca. This is one that I think sneaks up on people because it smells when you spray it like it would be very soft. It has a very soft, fluffy, powdery vanilla. It just smells soft and pretty, but I've gotten so many compliments on this perfume, especially if you spray a little bit more of it. I think it just creates a very pretty cloud and scent trail, and it does carry well, and I actually do find that it lasts really well. So I think it projects more than a lot of people think it does, because this has definitely been one of my most complimented fragrances, especially by women. Women love this one, I feel, I feel like. So obviously it's vanilla in kind of a soft, fluffy way, not a really gourmand vanilla to my nose. And then there's that kumquat note in the top as well, a really pretty malt note that I think makes this really interesting. And some of those purple flowers, which 
I love iris and violet. I love purple flowers. I love that powdery quality that they tend to give. I feel like it makes a fragrance feel very elevated and romantic. So this is definitely one of my favorite vanilla dominant fragrances and definitely gets a lot of compliments. Axe Halos, Lost in Paradise. Again, another one that I feel like I have mentioned but basically every video, but it is just gorgeous and also gets a ton of compliments. This is a beautiful, dewy, fresh, watery, peony, lychee, rosy scent, and it smells, again, so realistic and natural and very fresh and bright. I think it is one of the prettiest peony, lychee scents that I have ever, ever tried. Like that's a popular like note combo. This take on it, I think it's just absolutely so stunning and always gets compliments. I think it's very likable. It has great projection, which is amazing for being such a like soft, light, fresh, dewy scent profile. So this one's gorgeous. Probably, gosh, picking a favorite from Axe Nihilo would be so hard, but it's definitely one of my favorites from Axe Nihilo. Maison Zaire's Trash Air. Um, this is as always, one of my just absolute favorite fragrances and definitely always gets compliments. I always tell the story, but the first time I wore it, I wore just a little decant and I was out to dinner and had like a couple women come up to me and one of the women ordered it on her phone while we were talking and I was like, okay, I've got to get this perfume. <laughs> and so I did end up ordering a bottle. Um, as always, I have a discount code with Maison Zaire. It is an affiliate code. It is down in the description box and it gets you 15% off the Maison Zaire website. So check them out. They are definitely one of my favorite houses. I keep meaning to do a house overview video but this is just a beautiful mineral vanilla with white florals. There's orange blossom and then those C notes as well. I think it is so stunning. Truly one of the most just likable, beautiful. It's like wearable, very, very wearable. You could wear this daily as a signature, but it also just feels so special. And something about those C notes in here just make it feel, I don't know, kind of magical to me. Really? One of my favorite, um, I guess like warm florals. I just think it is beautiful. And if you made me pick a signature today and I could never wear anything else, hands down, no question, it would be Trash Air. And Gabrielle Essence by Chanel, specifically the Essence version, not the original. I think the original is kind of a bit boring and bland. It doesn't last that well and I just don't like it. But I love the Essence version. They added a little bit more depth. There's some woodiness in here. There's some red fruits to kind of add a bit of sweetness. It projects really, really well, lasts really, really well, um, and definitely is consistently one of my most complimented fragrances. Um, this and Coco Noir are my favorites from Chanel. I also love number five, Lo. It's just like a clean, fresh, soapy scent. The, the Lo flanker specifically um, of the number five line. But Gabrielle Essence is gorgeous. If you love white florals, I think it's just a great, easy reach fragrance. Um, I just think you can't go wrong with it. And it's very classy smelling, but still has that bit of sweetness to make it kind of fun. So Gabrielle Essence, definitely one of my most complimented. And that is it. That is my top 10 list of my most complimented fragrances. Thank you so much for watching if you made it through this video. And let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you'd like me to work on uh, for videos, any particular videos that you want. Um, I would love to hear what y'all would like to see. And I will see you in the next video.